smiles are a big thing among the young folks on the internet so i thought in this tutorial it would be nice to explore a bit the drawing capabilities of vvvv and show you how you can create your own shiny happy smiler from scratch so i'm closing this creating a new patch and first start with the renderer now you know the classic smiler is a perfect quad but i want to give it a bit of an edge using a round rack because that allows me to specify a radius for the corners to make it a bit smoother the color will be a classic gold and that's already the background next i will go for the eyes using a group here to draw many items and then i will use an oval that should be a bit smaller 20 0 20 around but a bit higher and the color would be black and i will move it over here and a bit up here then i will have two eyes obviously so i'm going to attach another one just duplicate that to give it the same fill but move it over here finally we need a mouth i'm going to use the segment node for that which is quite versatile first i'm going to give it a bit more resolution then i'm going to make it smaller and reduce the cycle so you see we get into the shape of a mouth already but then i also don't want to draw this filled but with a stroke it should also be black a bit fatter and i want to get rid of this connecting line so i say this segment will not be closed instead i want the caps round here so moving it a bit further down and i want to go for the classic happy look here nice and that would be it for the face i think now we are only missing a few fancy things like a drop shadow this is using an image filter drop shadow which i will not see here yet because i first need to make a bit of a brighter background then i can increase the amount of the drop shadow a bit uh, set an offset a bit and last thing i want to add a bit of a spotlight so i'm using another round rect for that uh, overlaying the other one with the same radius but i want to use a radial gradient on it the radial gradient node it returns a shader so i'm using the set shader here and this allows me to specify two colors the inner color would be white and the outer color would be black now i want to get rid of these uh, edge colors here by clamping the gradient um, then make it a bit bigger and move it to the top left corner even bigger probably uh, something like this uh, and then we don't want to fill the whole thing and overlay the whole color but use a blend mode uh, which defaults to plus anyway so it already adds the spotlight and make it a bit less aggressive so that 
would be it. Uh, one more thing is that if you're combining elements like this, drawing primitives like this in a group, the nice thing here is that you can now transform them all together using a transforms here uh, node. You can see how I can apply transformation to the whole drawing at once. And make it a, a bit bigger even. So that would be it for this tutorial.